there, Johnny. Well, what we're doing here, this is a method called uh, Shosugi Ban. It's uh, a Japanese technique for preserving wood. You burn it and you give it a period look, you know, and uh, I think we've done a lot of videos on uh, Shosugi Ban and uh, explaining about uh, the different positions where you can use this product. For example, we've got a split level decked area on the side here, and behind it we have this undulated effect of this, uh, I suppose it's more like a groin that you'd see along a beach dividing different levels and stop so it stops the sand moving you know and uh, for me it's so important that uh, detail is is key and uh, you can by achieving that uh, unique look that you're, you're going for will make a massive difference to the project as a whole and uh, certainly in this case and all customers actually deserve you know 100% attention to detail but uh, these customers more than more than most uh, wonderful people and uh, it's a pleasure to work here and uh, we're spending a little bit more time than what was expected on this project uh, but that's me that's down to me that's why I wanted to do it we if you look across there and if I carry on talking now we've uh, created uh, a backdrop to the patio area where they're gonna have a Japanese quince growing along there and uh, we, we're using a, a Japanese quince with a, a little uh, red button flower. And that's going to stand out massively through the winter periods with uh, that backdrop. And they've got a bit of privacy and quince shinomalies is known in the Latin name. They like uh, a little bit of shelter and that is going to show it off. But. Uh, so important to get it right and uh, we will with this job you know it's uh, like I said it's going on a little bit longer we got a few more cuts to do and uh, let's see what transpires it's a horrible day today it's uh, you had real heavy frost this morning and uh, it doesn't help the, the cement when going off and we laid some cement yesterday but if we give it a couple of days it, it, sh it should be all right and uh, we have been using some frost proofers as well it's so important but it's mad, you know, to think where I've come, I'm 52 today, and um, well, I'm looking 52 or not, but I certainly feel it. But uh, when I look back to when I was a kid in school, uh, I didn't think the teachers ever thought I would aspire to anything. And uh, certainly I remember one teacher, uh, Mr. Slade, he was head of a house, and the house being called Mount Batten at the time. Uh, there were four houses, Nelson, Drake, Mountbatten and Collingwood, Collingwood being blue, Nelson being green, Drake being yellow and Mountbatten being red and uh, we was in Mountbatten house and uh, I was always very keen on sports in school and uh, very competitive when it comes to that side of things and uh, unfortunately um, I struggled in the academic side and uh, certainly it's not because I'm not an academic, I've done an HND in recent years which for me was a huge achievement. But I didn't think that at school the teachers thought I would aspire to anything. But if you look at it, we're creating a, a Japanese style garden and it's actually looking okay. It's a bit muddy at the moment, but what we've achieved here is uh, not just producing a garden, but what we've actually done is um, we've made some clients happy and uh, some customers happy and we're bringing joy to people's gardens. And uh, I think when I look back at school, I don't think any teacher or even the headmaster would think that I would ever bring any joy to anyone, but we have. I always wanted to make a difference in people's lives. I was trying to impress people when I was in school. I wanted to get noticed and that was because of uh, the upbringing I had. It was, it was a tough upbringing. I'm one of eight kids. I was the youngest of eight kids and a lot of our time was spent working hard graft. I mean massively hard graft and uh, when I look back you would not believe it but that hard graft started from the age of three as soon as we could walk and put our own shoes on we were out in the fields and we were working in all weather worse weather conditions than what we, we actually experience now at the moment and um, um, today for me it's been a, a bit of a day of reflection on as I said I'm 52 today it's my birthday and uh, we sing happy birthday to you Certainly with landscape and survival, um, 
I've had some real positive feedback and uh, you know I've got some family members that I'm quite close to and I'm still close to now but you know there's a thing in life that you know sometimes your friends become your families the people that you work with the people that you deal with and uh, certainly having gone to Scotland and having gone to Ireland and meeting the boys out there you know uh, there is a real bond that I'm I mean, probably a bigger bond than what I ever imagined it could be, you know, and uh, it was just uh, great guys and uh, like mind, like thinking minded people, and uh, you know, it certainly uh, has had a profound effect on me today, and uh, it's been great and uh, so positive, and uh, I think a lot of those people out there will recognise things that I've been going through the last few years and uh, you know we want to achieve you know I'm not saying any of those guys were underachievers I don't think anyone's an underachiever when you're in school and when you're being brought up but it's whether anybody recognizes those skills that you have when you're a kid and some people don't ever have that chance and it's so important to um, you know give those people a chance so if you see anyone sort of struggling along believe you me they've got it in them so just give them a chance see it on the camera but we've created this um, I've talked about it for a few days we've got this trellis effect in front of it, this um, cladding area and we've tried to sort of mirror a Japanese look about it and you know it's, it's mad to think that um, the name Shosui Ban, I, you know, when I was in school, I, I suffered with, with my spelling. I think my mother sat down and read a book with me once, and uh, we never had the support at home when it when it came to, um, you know, the academic side of things. And uh, you know, as a result of that, we suffered in school. And um, but nevertheless, you know, I did that sort of um, that garden design thing many years ago. Now I I done an HND in garden design and plant man management, and. Uh, I never thought I would would spell hedricolchica dentata variegata or grizzlina literalis, all these Latin words and what they meant and uh, plants where they like being planted, and, you know, positions and, and all this sort of thing and how to spell it and being marked on it, you know, and uh, I think the thing that I recognise that, uh, that I've been able to do is that uh, we've all got that ability to learn. And, uh, it's whether you, you know you recognize that in somebody and give them a chance you know and uh, we all need chances and the thing is about people that work in these types of jobs you know you know uh, bricklayers pavers landscapers plantsmen whatever tradesmen you know these are people that have uh, you know usually a great imagination and able to work under difficult conditions and And, uh, you know, I have to take my hat off to him, and, uh, and that's why he created the group Landscape and Survival. He knows there's a lot of people out there like me that have been through the same thing, and uh, they're achievers, you know, they're not underachievers. Nobody's saying they're underachievers, but I bet you that a lot of those guys that are part of that group weren't recognised in school, and, uh, you know, recognizing some things but certainly not recognizing in other areas I look at it now, from where I was when I was a kid, and he told me all the things I, I, I told him, I wouldn't succeed and all this sort of thing, and, you know, and I'd end up having like a dozen kids and living in a council house, I don't want to live in a council house, I was brought up in a council house, but the fact is, all those things, and lots of negative things people said about me, and um, none, of this was, none of it was true, and um, I don't know why they see the negative side of me, they just assume that that's where I was going to be because I was a kid from a council state with a big family and uh, the didn't say it was going to happen to me and uh, here I am, you know, we're producing, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, granted because of the weather, but we're producing quality work, 
and uh, had a constant price and uh, I'm making a good living from it but I'm working on and what we're doing the thing that brings happiness in life is I'm achieving